give me more mash, please. Here you are. Your admirers come. We're running out of the mash. Girls, we're running out of the mash! <laughs> so, the usual? Yeah. Could we go out tonight? No, I can't make it. I have an exam tomorrow. One result or two? Give me two, thank you. Okay. I was promoted to a shift foreman. I can get married right now. I earn enough. Go and get married. I mean, why not? I will do it. To the very first girl I meet. That is, if you don't go out with me tonight. Well, okay, and then you can walk me home after work? Fine. Hey! Hey, you lovebirds! <laughs> Kiss later! Our break is ending! Hey, we haven't kissed yet. <laughs> Eldest Wife, Part 1 No, that's it. <laughs> Honey, let's go to my place. You'll see all the repairs I've done. If my grandmother was alive, she wouldn't recognize the place. Artyoma can't make it. I have that exam. I work for Mom all week and I need to study. Mm -hmm. You could come in for a while. Mom feels better. She's even made some cakes. Uh, well, I... I don't want to disturb you and stir myself up, so... <laughs> Kiss me again, all right? No, that's enough. My mom could see us. Okay, okay. I'll be patient for mm. you. By the way, I really like that you're, uh, an ice maiden. Mm. I'll pass my exams and show you a real ice maiden. <laughs> mm. <sighs> we could get married in winter. Right on January 1st. What do you mean? Yeah. <sighs> Katya, is that you? <gasps> yes, Mom. Hello. Well, I need to go. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Are you tired, honey? How's work going? Well, it's okay. Everybody asks about you. They are worried. I'm absolutely fine. I'll go to work on Monday. Well, Dasha is still away, though. Uh -huh. I really thought it was her coming. I called her, and it was you who came. You don't worry about me, do you? <laughs> Thank goodness I know you have your head screwed on right. And this hoity-toity, where is she, I wonder? So Dasha, you're on the lookout. Cross-eyed, you're at the wheel. Dima, take the pistol. Are you all ready? Okay. Take a box of cigarettes and some vodka, okay? Kirill, it's not safe. What if he recognizes you? No way. This moron's been away for a month. How can he know Listen, us? Listen, honey. Either you're with us or not at all. We told you our plans. So decide. You're with us or you're an unwanted witness. Okay, count me in. Fine, okay. I need the money as well. Let's go. Run, run, he's got go, a rifle! Hurry. Run, run, run! Go, go, go! Hurry up! Hurry up! Go, go, go! I'll kill all of you! <sighs> Dasha, get up! Get up, you night owl. <sighs> what is that? <sighs> Dasha, show it to me. <sighs> Stop shouting well, at me. what happened? I was driving with Kirill and the car went into a ditch. Leave me alone. Went into a ditch? Oh my God. Wait, stand up now. Let me have a look. 
Does it hurt? I'll apply something, an antibiotic. Was he drunk, your Kirill? That's silly of me. He was sure to be drunk. You're always ready to find fault with him. Come here. You'd better stay away from Kirill. You're involved with some... some gangster. Psst. At least he's no miser. Unlike your little Artyom. Hands off my Artyom. You got it? Mm-hmm. He cares about our future, by the way. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what did he give you for your birthday? Hmm? Perfume and a bunch of flowers. Perfume and a bunch of flowers, right? A tiny bottle of perfume and a crummy bunch of flowers he probably picked at his neighbor's yard. Take this cotton ball. Psst, okay. A cotton ball. You're going to marry Artyom and ask him for money to buy a maternity bra. And for food too, Katya. You've got an acid tongue. <gasps> Take this! I'll get you harder. And it's for you. Are you oh, ready? Yeah? <laughs> oh, stop ow, it. I'm hey, late already. By the way. <laughs> I need to go now. Stop hitting me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> uh, oof. Does oh, it wow. hurt? A bit, but I'll be good as new soon. At least I hope. Katya, sit down at the table. I've made pancakes. I don't have time. I'm late for class. Mm. Okay. Bye. Good luck. Good luck, daughter. Good luck. <gasps> so, where were you until three in the morning, hmm? What happened to your face? So, you fuss over your Katya, why do you always interrogate me then? I'll show you. I'll show you what interrogation is. If it's Kirill calling, I'm not at home. Hello? This is her mother. What happened now? What does it have to do with us? A summons? We don't know anything. <sighs> yes, 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 I understand. I get it. Now I understand. Your Kirill, this gangster, tried to rob a shop with his friends. I told you about him, Dasha. I told you many times. Now you see who you're tangled up with, hmm? They'll summon you again and again. They told me the investigator would summon you, though you don't know anything. You don't. Do you know? Dasha. You didn't. Last night, you were with him. Oh, Dasha. Answer your mother and tell me what really happened. I didn't want to really. I tried to talk him out of it, but he said either I was with him or... Mom! 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 Mom, are you okay? Mom, are you okay? Mom! 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 Would you like something? You died too early. You could have lived longer. You raised the girls all alone and will help when we can. God rest your soul. I didn't have time to introduce you to my mom. I know. Katya, stay at my place tonight. Or you know what? 
You should move to my place. It's just, at, at home, everything will remind you of her, you know? And when the morning is over, we could get married. Hmm? I think your mom would be happy about that. I can't leave Dasha alone now. She thinks she's to blame for Mom's death. And Kirill and his friends are browbeating her. She can't stay on her own now. Okay, fine. So, maybe she's right, you think? What do you mean? Well, she was... the reason for your mom's heart attack. Nobody made her tangle with a criminal, right? Artyom, stop it, please. Hello? Hello. Were you questioned yet? What did you tell him? I told him I was out with you. Yet he doesn't believe me. He says they have a witness who saw you. Listen, you. They don't have any witnesses, or I'd be in jail already. They made it up to intimidate you. How did they find you then? They are checking everyone with a crime record. Stick to your story. Listen, Dasha. We're watching you, you understand? I can't hear you. I understand. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Why didn't you lock the door, huh? Well, Dasha will be here soon from the neighbors, and I'm waiting for uh -huh. her. Artyo, Katya, I... listen. I know that this may not be the best moment, but... Uh... Here. Take it. Take it. Here you go. <laughs> will you be my wife, Katya? We can have our wedding any time later. It's just... <sighs> I just want you to know that I am not going to change my mind. So then, will you marry me? You must be hungry. Let me give you something to eat. Wait, wait, sit down, sit down, sit down. I also thought about Dasha as well, right? Look here. What's that? In town there is a very good boarding school. Katya, don't you worry. It's a very, very good school. There are specialists who can work with Dasha. Mm -hmm. Katya, it's free. And I could send her some, some pocket money every month as well. You know that. Mm -hmm. She'll escape the bad influence from all these gangsters, from all those... Uh... Artyom, you just don't understand. Dasha won't manage there alone. She'll get into trouble. She has no one but me, so take it back. Katya... You must take it back. Katya, uh... Dasha was always under your mom's supervision. That's why she's grown up so spoiled. That's why it all happened. You know nothing about me or about my family. You have no right to tell me what to do with Dasha. Yes, I do have a right. As your future husband, I want my wife to bring up my own kids. And not some grown-up idiot sister. Ah! Stop! <sighs> Don't touch me, please! Leave me alone. What's going on? Dasha! Well, what did I tell you? Katya, I warned you. Are you crazy? Stop. They'll put you in Let prison. Go what are you me. doing? You can't. Artyom, do go home. Stop it. Stop Katya, it. Did you give us away, no. bitch? I'll kill you. No, don't hurt me. Get no. out of here. Get no. out. I said get out of here. Get away What's from that? me. What's You're going to slash us? Just try me. All right, that's fine. Guys, stand down. I'll find you. Do you understand? Dasha! Dasha! Can you stand up? Dasha! 
Can you stand up? <laughs> Did they leave? Those damn bastards. Uh, hush, hush. Lean on me. Hold on to me. Okay, okay. Be careful. Come on, be careful. You're almost there. That's she's good. She's bleeding. Okay. Call the ambulance okay. and the police. Wait, I guess. Wait, hold on. That's it. Katya. Sit down. Sit down. Katya. Raise your arms. Katya. You see, I can raise. And my now arms. your legs. Katya, are you deaf or what? I'm telling you to call the police. Artyom, just look, go look, home. I got it. You see, that's it. I can okay, move my okay. legs. And your hands? Okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Are you dizzy? I'm okay, it's, I'm it's okay. okay. I'll bring you some ice. Here, put it here, but don't raise your head. It was because you told everything to the investigator, is that right? I told everything, yes. They won't leave me alone until they go to prison, and I don't want to go to prison. Was that wrong of me, or what? Dasha. What's that? Are we leaving here? You know, Aunt Lisa called me. She's sorry she couldn't be at the funeral. She promised us that she would help us. She did. Well, she can help us now. So are we leaving for Moscow, you mean? Dasha, have you seen Dad's old backpack by chance? Hello there, nieces. Hello, Aunt Lisa. Hello. Come in, make yourself at home, come in. Let's go. <laughs> Katya. Hello. Take off your coats, go ahead. How are things here? Oh, everything's okay. I work a lot. <sighs> take off your coats and take your things to the girls' room. Mm -hmm. They're not here now, they're studying abroad. Come on, come on. Leonia. Mm-hmm. Make some tea. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Anyuta, Anyuta. She was so young. She strained herself. Ah, oh, like me. I'm like a hamster on a wheel. I work and I work and I think I'll live forever. Well. I won't let anyone hurt you. Dasha will study at the school near our house, and you, Katya, will work at my beauty salon. Oh, thank Anyuta you. Anyuta told me that you studied at a culinary school. I finished it. Yet I'm ready to do any work. That's good. Finish your meal quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leonia! Leonia! Will you take Dasha to a museum? I think she'd like that. Will you go do it? That's okay. Good. You'll go with Uncle Leonia. He'll show mm -hmm. you the city. Good. And make dinner in the evening. The fridge is full. Hmm? Hmm. Hello? Yes, I'm ready for you. I'll wait for you in the car. Mm -hmm. You heard about the dinner? Mm-hmm. Hello, girls. 
Hello, 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 hello. This is our new assistant trainee. Meet my niece, Katya. She just got here. She'll be working with us. Hello. Hello. Hey. This is Tanya. She'll teach you uh. everything. Don't be mm -hmm. sorry for her. Ride her hard, despite her being my relative. Sasha, listen to me. You'll teach her how to make appointments and answer the phone. What? You all had two days off. Teach her and you'll have days off. Okay, let's go to the storeroom. I'll show you what we have there. Come on, follow me. Look, you teach her and I will kick you out of here, okay? That's not the reason why she's here. Why is she here? To inform Lisa about our behavior. Ah, hmm. uh, that's even worse. Look here. Add half of the tube mm -hmm. with the dye and stir it thoroughly. You apply it on the hair the way I showed you. For 40 minutes under the cap. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that one's for short hair. I want an evening look. Fine. Tanya. Yes? Will you do the coloring in hairdo? Oh, uh, you know, Katya will do it. Me? You're a trainee. Go and train. Please, go in. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Come in, please. Please sit down. Just one moment. What color would you like? Mm, I'd like golden. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. Aren't you afraid she'll make a blunder? I'm sure she'll make a mistake. Seriously? I mean what I say. I deliberately taught her wrong. What do you think? I want Lisa to understand that her niece is good for nothing right off the bat. Or what? I mean, should I train a competitor with my own hands? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No way. <laughs> Didn't you think she'd tell everything to her aunt and she'd kick you out? We'll see about that. <sighs> What is that? What did you do to me? I don't know. I don't know. I, I follow the instructions. What instructions do you mean? Where did you take it from? My brother's birthday is today. How can I go now? Oh, you look nice. Like Malvina from A Kid's Tale. Malvina? Well, thank you. Uh, oh, you listen, I'm so sorry. I'll I... bring you to court, all of you. I'll have your salon closed down. Calm down, man. Who are you? I'm the owner of the salon. Yeah? Please accept our apology. Let me suggest something. An yeah? apology? Yeah. Yes, our best stylist will fix everything, all Your right? Your best stylist. And this is for you. Come. A certificate for a manicure. Well, thank you. We're really sorry. What are you doing? Who let you work on that client? It was no one. It was my initiative. Was it your initiative? Who taught you to dye hair? Tanya, but apparently I didn't get it right. <sighs> I thought you were smarter than this. Listen up. Don't do anything by yourself. You must help the girls at first. And study, study, study. You got it? Yes. Hmm. Listen, Katya. When you finish, tell me, okay? I want to show you everything again. could get married in winter, right on January 1st.
Is that Rosa? I'm not here. Uh, who is she? She's an incredibly difficult client. She always finds some kind of fault. She tends to have us redo everything. She's never happy. Hello, madam. Good to see Hello, you again. Hello, Sasha. Haven't seen you for ages. I've been very busy, but I have some free time. I need to have my hair cut and done, please. Tanya will be free in half an hour, but you'll have to wait. Is nobody else free now? Only a trainee. Her name is Katya. Well, I'm in a hurry. Mm. Okay. I'll trust myself in her hands. Come here, please. Sasha, bring me a cup of green tea as usual. Mm -hmm. Shall we begin? Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. My name's Katya. And I'm Rosa. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, you have really good hair. Mm, but the ends are frayed. We can do a short haircut. Are you allowed to have that? Well, unfortunately, there's nobody to see it. My husband and father are long gone. I am a law unto myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could even have a punk's hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's wash your hair then. Okay. Just a second. Here you go. I like it. I really do. <laughs> oh, thank you. You look so young. Have you left school recently? Oh, no. I graduated from college. I studied to be a cook, though. The girls here taught me to do haircuts. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, I own a restaurant. It's a family business. You have to pay the receptionist. I know that. That is a special tip for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Sasha. Your new <laughs> trainee is great. We're always glad to see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well done. <sighs> wow, wow. Who could imagine that stingy Rosa would tip you? Well, as long as I'm lucky. Shall we order pizza? Can we get it with some seafood? With mushrooms. Oh, maybe margarita, as usual. I'm calling now. Hmm. Arcady called to say that the building permit for the Nupolis complex is almost ours. Okay, that's great. Tomorrow at 9, you are meeting with the Germans. Then you are to attend the reception at the Department for Environmental Management. And the lawyer called to say that your wife wouldn't sign the divorce settlement documents. Send them all to me. I've done it already. It's a good day today, Irina. I barely managed to see it. Hmm? I'll go and have lunch. But earlier you asked me to order some sushi. Eat it on your own. I'll come back a bit later. See you. Excuse me, 
Thanks a lot. Hello? Yes, sir? Uh, a cup of black coffee and a pie, please. To eat here. <laughs> Which pie, sir? Uh, a meat pie. 79 rubles, please. Mm-hmm. Here you are. I'm sorry, the machine is out of order today. I don't understand. We don't accept cards. We only accept cash. Indeed you do. What am I supposed to do? Miss, I, I work not far from here. I can have my meal here and bring you the money later. I could leave something as security. <laughs> we don't do it that way. <clears throat> Shall I cancel the order then? <sighs> don't. I'll pay for you. How much is that? 79. Mm -hmm. hmm, it's funny. No woman has ever paid for me before. <laughs> You're wrong about that. One did for sure, your mother. <laughs> huh. Well, you're right. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. You're welcome. Thank you. May I, uh, may I sit down? Sure, of course. Thank you again. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I feel really awkward. After we finish the meal, could we go to the nearest ATM and I'll pay you back? Oh, that's okay. Enjoy it. A strange place, really. They cook really well here, and it's inexpensive. <clears throat> Listen, you don't owe anything to me. The day is really nice, and I got paid at work, and it's my first day off for a long time. Miss, Couldn't I just treat someone, maybe? Miss, you're making me feel really embarrassed. So, could I just transfer this money to your phone number? <laughs> Are you really such a bore, or do you just want well, to meet me? Yes, I'm a bore, and I really want to meet you. I'm Katya. I'm Igor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Katya, give me your phone number, and when you're free next time, I'll organize an excursion. I was born near here. I'm an architect. I can show you the city. It has lots of interesting buildings. Sounds good, I guess. Mm hmm Well, uh, I can agree. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Okay, then. Give me your phone number. I'm ready for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here, put it down. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late now. You mind if I take off? Yeah, sure, mm -hmm. sure. Katya. Well, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. It was nice to meet you. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Dasha, hello. Dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, da, dum. Do, do, do. Hello there. Why do you look so happy? It was just a good day today. Drop it. Have you met someone or what? Well. Well? Well, I met some guy, some man at a cafe. He got my phone number. He's really nice, and he has a really good smile. Mm, at a cafe, you say? He's a pauper, then. Why do you think so? Because if you go out together somewhere, it'll be some cheap place. I can only imagine. Well, I don't know. He was dressed nicely. Mm, and where did he invite you, this lover of cheap coffee? To some snack bar? Dasha. <laughs> he offered to show me around Moscow. He lives in the center, and he knows the city very well. In the center, that's interesting. So did you go? Where? Go on the excursion. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was in a hurry. He promised to call me this weekend. You may well delete his phone number. But why's that? Because if he's from Moscow and well off, once the weekend comes, he'll forget your name for sure. I don't have time for this anyway. We shall see soon enough. And I don't have his phone number. I'm gonna take a shower.
Sasha met this guy from a dating site, no less. She went with him to Italy. Lucky. And I have to work on the weekend. Katya, what are you doing tomorrow? Hmm? Did you ask something? Well, I sure did. You've been strange for the whole week. Are you all right? <sighs> I think I feel a bit sick. Hmm. Hello? <sighs> yes, Igor. Mysterious. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, I remember you. <laughs> Today at seven? Well, I can't make it today, but... Katya, come on, go. I'll cover for you. <gasps> Igor, wait a second. Tanya said she'll substitute for me. Yes, I can make it. <laughs> I guess I know where. Okay. I'll see you. Well? So, so was that why you felt sick then? <laughs> Well done, Katya. You've just arrived in Moscow and you found a fiancé. He's not a fiancé. We only just met. He wants to show me around the city. Be careful, though. He could be some maniac, you know. Yes, don't go to his place at once or he could show something else to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Come on, come over here. We're going to make you a beauty. <sighs> Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm a bit late. No, Katya, you aren't late at all. I, I can wait for such beauty. This is for you. Thank you. So, tell me, what are the plans? Well, I suggest going to some cozy place first. Uh, then I can show you the city. Uh, uh -huh. And by the way, uh, may I call you Katya? <laughs> well, you're older than me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I only meant... <laughs> I meant you were well-preserved. <laughs> that sounds even better. Thank you, Katya. I feel much better now. <laughs> well, uh, let's go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go, Igor. Yeah. Well, I got confused a bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's fine. So over there, they found coins from 30 countries mm -hmm. during the excavation works. Can you imagine? Yeah, for real, though. I found a Jerem from Mesopotamia. Did you do the excavation? Yeah, I did. My girl was an archaeologist. She invited me. Is your wife also an archaeologist? <laughs> no, Katya. <sighs> Not like that. My wife. I lost my chance to happiness. I was really stupid, you know. I ran after long-legged mm. models, I guess. Sounds interesting. So tell me, did you find uh, your model? <sighs> I did. Unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Did she perhaps uh, gain weight? <gasps> oh, I know. She's old now. Mm -hmm. Katya, my wife is an alcoholic. She would drink a lot, and for a long time. No, I took her to various health centers, doctors, and so on, but it's, um, it's, um, I'd rather not discuss it right now, um, you know. Um, yeah, can you see those windows on the third floor? Uh, yes, there? of course. That's where some emperor's great-grandson lived? <laughs> well, I don't know who lived back then. But now that's me. Come to my place and have a cup of tea. Igor, I can't. I have to get up early tomorrow and... Well, I understand. I understand. It all must be too fast. I'm sorry. It doesn't mean I don't want to see you again and, and go for a walk. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> okay, I need to go. The metro will close. Oh, wait. Uh, what metro? No way. No, I'll call you a taxi. You will go in comfort. <sighs> Get in. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Katya. We'll see each other again. Yes, okay.
Aunt Lisa, is anything wrong? Thank you. You're welcome. Hello there. Which would you like, soft or hard? I can help you choose some. I'll manage myself. My hands are much cleaner than yours. I don't know where you come from. Hey, lady. Stop being rude. She'll have to sell crushed vegetables after you leave. Well, look, it's another one. Don't you teach me how to behave. I'm in my own country. <laughs> Why are you so angry, huh? Your husband must have constant headaches. Go to hell. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rosa. What are you doing here? Hello, Katya. I'm buying products for my restaurant because in this market mm. they sell the cheapest fruit and vegetables. And what are you doing here? Well, there's no work for me at the salon anymore. I didn't want to disturb Aunt Lisa, so we moved out. <sighs> well, how do you get by? Well, I work here and there. This is my third day in the market. You're a good stylist. It's a pity. I think mm. you're a good seller as well. <laughs> so I need two kilos of ripe tomatoes, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, well, some green peppers also. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, so that's what you asked for? Oh, she's really a good shop assistant. Really <laughs> polite. And a real beauty to boot. <laughs> Oh, that's 950. Oh, oh, only that much? How about that? Mm. I'll give you the change. Mm -hmm. There's four. And, and 50 more. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. Nice to see you. Thank you, Rosa. Oh. Goodbye, then. <laughs> okay, goodbye. So, how's it going so far? Huh? Okay, uh, we've run out of pears. Pears? Mm -hmm. Oh, they'll bring us some more pears. Oh. Zakir, I wanted to ask you for an advance. Ah. My sister is sick at the moment, and we spent everything on medicine, and I also need to pay the rent. Ah. You need money, I see. Mm-hmm. I have a proposal for you. Uh, come to my place in the evening for dinner, what? and we can maybe... Uh... Ah, but I can't. My sister is waiting for me. And in general, you... I have no money for you. There's a crisis here. You must be grateful for the fact that you have a job. Of course you're still sleeping. You haven't done anything all day. How can you live in this mess? My stomach is aching again. I guess I developed an ulcer from all those potatoes. Could you buy good food sometimes? We don't have any money for good food. <sighs> Dasha, we didn't pay rent this month. I don't even know how we'll manage. Well, you must think positive, right? There's always a solution. Do you believe that? Mm-hmm. I need to borrow money. Listen, you think we could ask that man that you met? What man do you mean? You know, the one from the cafe. Do you mean Igor? Hmm. Mm. No. 
No, he didn't even call me after we went out that other time. Yes, I see. I know why he didn't. You played an ice maiden again. Well, just call him and say that you have some difficulties and you won't be too capricious anymore. Dasha, just drop it. I deleted his number anyway. Hello, Katya. Hello, Rosa. Nice to see you. So, how did you find our tomatoes? I didn't come here for tomatoes today. I thought a little bit and decided to offer you a job at my restaurant. Do you need a cook? I need an assistant to be my right hand. To cook, to clean, to go to the market, to serve clients. My sister-in-law, Nelia, used to do everything, yet she's grown very sick. I won't say this work is easy. We go to bed after midnight and get up at six o'clock. Yet you and your sister could live at our place and eat with us. All our workers are family for us. We take good care of them. So what do you think? There's nothing to think about, I agree. Then let me welcome you, Katya. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, this is our great kingdom. This is Katya. Hello. Please be kind with her. Zanat, he does the heaviest work around the restaurant. You can call me Zenya. All Russians call me Zenya. That's nice fine. Nice to meet you, Zenya. Uh -huh. Today we have a banquet in celebration of our relative's mm -hmm. birthday, so you'll make a full-out debut. Nelia will show you everything here. Good luck. Don't worry. I worked in a refectory for over a year. I used to serve 200 people at a time. In a refectory? It's not a refectory. People come here to relax. They want to have a good meal and relax. A refectory. We have four pages of main courses. I promise I'll manage. Don't worry. Hail to you, my dear Farid. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> Happy birthday! Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello there. Hi, Mom. Hello, Adil. Dear Uncle Farid, happy birthday to you, Uncle. I'm sorry I'm late, man. Mm. Sorry for being late. The traffic was horrible today, really. You're in time, Adil. Good to Let's see you. Let's drink some wine to my continued good health. Of course. Cheers to you, Uncle Farid. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yes. Hey, Uncle. No, never mind. Come on, Farid. <laughs> no, no, Farid. No. Never mind. Come on, uh, Farid. Come on. Yeah, Uncle. Uh, Farid. Uh, hmm? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Hello. Hello. My name's Adil. I'm Katya. I work here for your mom. Adil, go away. Don't disturb us. I've come to help my Aunt Nalia. By the way, I'm almost 18 years old, so I can... Really? You're a grown-up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> I see that you feel better. Then make your bed and put your clothes into the wardrobe. I just came to take an apple. I'll go. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. She's in an awkward age, right? <laughs> I have to lay the cloth here. Oh, I can help you. No, thank you. I can do it. Well, it's up to you. <sighs> Good morning, Nalia. Has your sister finished school already? No, she is in her final year. So why is she at home? She's been a bit ill. Why not see a doctor? She was in the hospital, but they asked for some documents. Rosa promised to help with the registration, but it takes some time. And I don't have any money to pay for it. But she's healthy enough to flirt with Adil. But it seems to me that Adil has no objection. And he has time for it. Why not? He doesn't work in his mother's restaurant. And he doesn't have his own business either. Go ahead and talk. What if Rosa hears you talking about her son? She understands everything about her own son. What does she understand? She only thinks restaurant, restaurant. He graduated from university. He wants his own business. It's not his fault that his mother doesn't give him any freedom and keeps him pinned to her apron. He's a very good son. Otherwise, he would have left already. Well, yes. Are you going out? No, no. I'm just tired mm. of looking like a ragbag. For a dill? What do you mean? Are you tired of looking like a rag bag in his eyes? <laughs> I don't need this show off. Maybe I'm going to a new school tomorrow. Let them be surprised. Wait, are you jealous? Hmm? I'm just afraid that we'll find ourselves in the street again because of your tricks. Of course, come on, I see how you look at him. Confess that you like him, am I right about that? Dasha, don't talk nonsense. Are you using my gloss? You aren't using it anyway. Oh, can I borrow your blue skirt tomorrow, Katya? I need to stick to the school's dress code, you know. You can use it, just for school. Oh, there are some cram courses near the school. Please find out how much they cost. Uh-huh. And now wash off that makeup. Go to bed. Rosa went to the market. She'll buy everything. Why are you so cheerful? Because Dasha went to school today, and then after she'll go to cram school. I hope she comes to her senses. To school? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's where Adil drove her so early. Hmm.
Hello. Where is she coming from? From the cram school. What cram school at 11 o'clock? Go and talk to your sister. Tell her that she should look after her appearance. I want everyone to respect this house, and I mean it. Of course. Well, how was school? And the courses? It was great. The teachers are so cool. I registered for the cram school. So don't wait up for me. And payment? What payment? Oh, for the cram school? Oh, well, the sum is very little. They said that we could pay it next month. Why are you going through my handbag? Explain it to me. <sighs> They're shots from a modeling agency. I mean, it's no big deal. It's just that Adil introduced me to the head of this agency. She's just his old friend. Well, when did you find time to meet if you were at school and cram school? I didn't go to school today. Why are you looking at me like this? I'm already 17 years old. The perfect age for modeling and I want to have a chance to enjoy life. Enjoy life, I see. I can't believe that's Dasha. Listen to me. You're a guest in this house. Don't forget that. It is not Adil who decides if you stay or not. I'll tell you something. Rosa doesn't like you. She tolerates you so far, but her patience may not last. Well, I'll tell you something. I don't like her either. Dasha, you live in her house, not the other way around. And you will follow all her rules, or you find a new accommodation. So you're not going to go with me if she kicks me out then? Why should I? I like everything here. They are kind to me. I don't need to think about what I will eat and where I will sleep. So yes, I'll stay here no matter what. I can't believe it. Nelia went to the city for a healer. She's always looking for diseases in her body. So you'll work hard today without an assistant, is that okay? Katya, may I speak with you? I'm busy. Please, just a moment. Talk fast, I have a lot to do. Dasha told me that you found her shots from the agency, and that you were angry when you found out that it was through me. Me angry? An adult man entangled my sister and God knows what! If someone hurts Dasha, I will cut their throat for her, you hear me? I didn't know that you were so angry. Katya, I'm successful with women, all right? I don't need your younger sister at all. But she has everything for the modeling business and has asked me to help her, so I'll introduce her to Aliona. She's very kind and she lectures at colleges. They have nothing indecent there. Lessons on stage movement, acting skills, and some English as well. Then they work at exhibitions and on advertising campaigns. Everything is official. Some daughters of celebrities study there and they trust them very much. You should have told me all of this earlier. Well, that's my fault. I I thought that she had told you everything. If you want, we can go there together and you can see for yourself, all right? It's fine with me. She needs to finish school and get a certificate. She can't enter any university without it. What does she need that for, huh? Because she can't work in the kitchen for 12 hours like I can. But if she graduates, she will probably find a good job and become a manager as her mother dreamt. <laughs> there are plenty of managers here in <sighs> Moscow and half of them work in fast food restaurants. Look, what do you mean by good job, huh? 
And how many actresses and models don't finish school but earn millions? Maybe you just need to believe in your sister. Let her decide once in her life what she really needs, okay? What are you doing here? Why don't you just go to a casting or something? Dasha, did you really think I'd let you go away alone? I will always be with you, in whatever you do. I just don't want you to scorn me anymore, Katya. Dasha. Well, I have thought it over and decided. You can go to this agency if you want to. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Adil, do you know where Dasha is? It's dark already and I can't get her on the phone. Maybe some late shooting? I told her to return before 11. She returned in time during the week. And she always called me if she was late. Maybe something happened. <sighs> Calm down. I'll call the head of the agency and I'll find out. Hello? Good evening, Eliona. Sorry for the late phone call. How is my protege, Dasha, doing? Uh-huh. And then... Uh... I see. Yes. No, 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 thank you. Everything is okay. It's fine. Mm-hmm. What is it? <sighs> she and three other girls went to a party in the countryside and... Well, I know the host of the house, so I'll, I'll go there in a few hours and get her, okay? I'm coming too. A deal, my friend. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, some private party, huh? Very nice. You celebrating something? Yeah, something like that. We are relaxing here with everyone. <laughs> Isn't that right? Hey. <laughs> and you? On business or leisure? Well, I heard about the party and I thought I'd pay a little visit. And I wanted to talk to you about the club. Mm. Uh-huh, yeah. You said that you wanted to invest some money, right? Well, we'll discuss it. And you'll tell me where you've picked up such a doll like her. Hey, hands off. This is my girlfriend. Here. Oh, okay. Let's go for a drink. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dasha, you get off her, get off of her. Uh, Dasha, Dasha. You have some nerve, you stupid bitch. Oh God, are you okay? Are you okay? Come on. Get out. Uh, get Leave up, Dasha. Her. Get off of me. Uh, you have Let's some go, nerve! I paid for her! Stop! <coughs> hey, stop! Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Without you. Don't worry. Everything's all right with your sister. She'll be okay in the morning. She'll recover. <laughs> You're right, but she needs some common sense. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Activated carbon. And now she's asleep. I'm sorry I involved you. Katya, no. What do you mean? What are you saying? It's me who should apologize to you. I promised that. I promised that she would be safe and she wasn't. Don't you talk nonsense. She's not your sister. Well, I'd like to be closer to you if you'll let me. So I was right to think that you like Dasha? <laughs> You're so silly. It's you who I like. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> I've, uh, I've decided to help in the family business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, how's your sister? Things as usual. She's in bed with the phone as if nothing had happened last night. I don't know what to do with her. Then do nothing. Just wait till she grows up. You think so? I sure do. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> maybe, uh, maybe you and I can go out tonight. Where could we go? Wherever you like. <laughs> or wherever I like, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, you have to relax. It's not good to be so responsible. Well, I don't know, I have so much on. to do, like now. Uh... I need to make some pies and... Good morning, you two. Mm. Nelia told me that my son has decided to help in the kitchen for once in his life. <laughs> Katya, hmm? did you persuade him to become a good son and head of the family? Oh yeah, sure. That's why you should give her a day off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mind that. Of course, if Katya doesn't mind. Well, I don't know. <sighs> you surprised me very much. I didn't know that you could wear such nice clothes. Well, we are going out. We're not digging potatoes. <laughs> Where are we going? Well, that's up to you. Maybe to a party. I'll introduce you to my friends. <laughs> we could also go to a restaurant. Well, that's up to you. Uh, maybe you would like to go see my club. It's not open yet, but it's good, actually. <laughs> Let's go and you'll review it as an expert, all right? <laughs> what kind of expert am I? I've never been out to real clubs. I don't know anything. Well, then it's time to begin. <laughs> 
Thank you. I built almost everything with my own hands. I remade it after workers built it. Wow, how much you had to do. Yeah, the sound is ready. Some alcohol is already ordered. Mm -hmm. If you only knew how difficult it has been. Here, <laughs> let me mix a cocktail for you, all right? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 150 milliliters of wine. Okay. 150 milliliters of fizzy water. Mm-hmm. Oh. And a slice of an orange. So beautiful. Thank you. Tasted. The most popular cocktail among hipsters, Aperol Spritz. Mmm. It's very good <laughs> and strong. Well, now, you'll mix a, uh, a Mexican for me. Me? Yeah. I can't. I'm a cook, not a bartender. Actually, my special cocktail is cranberry water. <sighs> Let's see. All right. Take 25 milliliters of mezcal. Okay. Well, 25 milliliters. That's it. Uh-huh. 15 milliliters of Cointreau. Okay. <laughs> Enough? <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> and uh, some ice to your taste. And ice. Okay. Good. Ready? Taste it. So? It's great. You chose the wrong profession. No. You're a barman by nature, <laughs> Katya. Cheers to you. <sighs> so, do you like being here? Yes. You know, it's spacious, but at the same time, cozy. Yeah, but my mother tells me that I'm going to fail. And that I've wasted my money here. Adil. Do what you like to do. I'm sure that you'll soon prove to Rosa that you were right to build this club. God, why haven't I brought you here before, huh? <laughs> You can fill me with confidence. <laughs> so, of course, a real DJ will perform here. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'll play my favorite mix. Okay. <sighs> okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Gotcha, come on. <sighs> oh, man, I love this bar. Has this drink 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 drink. Hey, guys, we're not open yet. Really? Our concert was canceled. We waited for an hour, but we finally had to leave. Okay, let's go someplace else then. Wait, don't leave. Can we open the club right now? No way. How can I manage alone with this crowd? You're not alone. I'm with you. You do the music and I'll do the bar. Deal? Deal then. <laughs> Guys, come in. Have fun. You'll be our first Woo! guest. Come enjoy yourselves. Go home, love. <laughs> Adil! Oh, that was great. I can't believe we did it. We did it all thanks to you. You were my mascot today. <laughs> I have to go to work in three hours. We have to wash the floors and finish cleaning. The floors can wait, but, but I can't wait anymore. <laughs> Adil, I... I'll be the most tender man in the world. I promise.
How is she, doctor? It was almost a miscarriage, so she was bleeding. We stopped the bleeding, but she has to stay in the hospital. We'll give her hormones, vitamins. We'll support both mother and the fetus. Do you mean she's pregnant? Yes, your sister's been pregnant for 13 weeks. You said that you lived together. How could you not know about it? Can I see her now? Yes, you can, but not for long. Calm down, my darling. Take it easy. We're strong, aren't we? We'll cope with everything. Katya, I don't have anyone. No one. Just what time with Uncle Leonia. You told me that I shouldn't be afraid of anything. He's a bastard. It's my fault. I left you alone with this. Enough! Katya, enough now. It's enough to always blame yourself. I had chances, but I didn't use them very well. Today, an agent from London is coming and I... <laughs> Calm down. <sighs> it's okay, Dasha, it's okay. <sighs> Don't worry, we will get you taken care of. We'll bring up the baby. We'll just make something up. How is she? She's fine. She asked for something to eat. Well, she'll recover then. Take a seat, I have to tell you something. Rosa, if this is about Dasha, I ask you to give us some time to move out. I don't have any money to rent another place at the moment. Well, your sister made a gift for us. Mm -hmm. But you, Katya, think badly of me, if you think that I can kick you out with a baby on the way. Well, thank you. Please take a seat. This is about you, not Dasha. Do you really like my son, or am I mistaken? Hmm. Yes. I like him. Is there something between you? <sighs> Rosa, I understand everything, and I don't hope for anything. Well, over these few weeks that you've been here, I have learned a lot about you, and I like you. Adil has changed as well since you came here. He takes part in the business, and he doesn't vanish for days. I hope that thanks to you, he'll run the family business and won't go to these nightclubs anymore. So I don't have an objection if you get married. I don't think Adil wants that. I'll talk to Adil. All in all, he seduced you. So he has to be responsible for his actions like a man. No, Rosa, please don't tell Adil anything. You told me that you like him. Yes, I like him. Very much. But I don't want him to love me and marry me under any pressure. As you like. Then I ask that you stop seeing Adil, apart from the working relationship. I can't stand the depravity in my house. Of course. Hello, Aunt Masha. Hello. It's Katya speaking. Huh. How was our little house? How was my mother's grave? Please don't forget us. 
How are we? We're okay. Everything is okay. Aunt Masha, you know that uh, we can't return home. What? When did that happen? Dasha, I just called home. Oh, to Aunt Masha. She told me that Kirill and his friends are in prison. So for the next two years, we are safe. Well, finally. Let's go home, shall we? I can find some work at the refectory, and we can get some child benefits as well. And there's our house and Mom's grave. Wait, what? I'm not gonna go. You'll work in your refectory, and I'll go to and fro with a pram, right? A single mother without any degree or work and with a baby? I imagine how everyone will be looking at me. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Hello there. Do you know what my sister decided? That we should go back to our little town. Maybe you can tell her that it is Dasha. completely ridiculous. Dasha, can you leave us alone? Let me talk to Katya, please. Katya, I want to tell you, I don't want you to go away. What I want is for you to marry me. Adil, if it was Rosa that talked you into this... It wasn't my mother. I don't care what she thinks. I'm here not because of her, but... Look, listen. With you, I understood that I could achieve more than what my mother thinks about me, all right? I know... I know I'll be successful soon. <laughs> and then I'll take you far away from here. We'll enjoy life together. We'll travel and have a lot of fun. I want you to be my wife. Forever. These earrings and necklace have been passed down in our family through the female line. Now they are yours. Oh, thank you. They are so beautiful. These stones help conceive and carry a child. I hope you will give a lot of healthy children to Adil. Attention, please, my dear guests, and also the host of the house. Let us all greet our beautiful bride together. The groom's cousin will give a toast to the happy couple. My dear friends, as wise people say, 
Grass will die without water. The heart is dead without a dream. Without children, you're dead even when you live. Such is the wisdom of life. I wish you love. Congratulations. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Pay attention to this boy. He's a very good boy. He's a lawyer from a decent, very well-off family. Now the main course will be served. Go serve him. Nothing of the kind. I don't want to show my belly. Don't be silly. You'll be 18 in a month. You can get married if you want. Your child will be born in wedlock. Thank you. I don't want to get married. You're silly. Nobody needs a woman with a child. And if her child is born out of wedlock... Hello, nobody's home. Shh. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Welcome to me, little boy. He's a big one, huh? <laughs> I didn't expect that anybody would welcome me or anything. Mm. <laughs> Come here, congratulations. Today Thank is you. a lucky day, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. Again. <sighs> Calm him down, please. If your sister can't do it. A month long I've been listening to him scream. I'm going crazy. <sighs> Dasha, I can't believe that... Vanya, you're wet. Come here. Dear Katya, forgive me for everything. I'm going to London. I promise I will succeed in life and return for Vanya. 